I'm at the beach here where I've just made a new friend, Shivang. And I thought, what better way to chill with him than playing a game of math strategy? Shivang, ready to play? Yeah, sure. So the rules are simple. It's a two-player game. The first player starts by splitting this pile into two different piles, say like this. Okay. Then the second player chooses any of these two piles and splits it further into two different piles of any sizes. So both players continue turn by turn, choosing any pile and splitting this into two smaller piles. Okay. So on. The player who cannot do so anymore loses the game. Alright, so let's play around with these 10 pebbles. Okay. So I'll go first. Your turn. Do it like this. Okay. So now there's no more piles left to split. So I win this game. I can see that. Alright, so now that you're clear about the rules of the game, do you want to play another round? Sure, let's do it. Alright, so let's play this next round with these seven pebbles. Okay. okay. So do you want to go first? Sure. Alright, your turn. <laughs> so no more piles left to split, so I win again. Uh, okay. How is it that you win each time? Do you have a strategy behind this? Let me explain that using these seven pebbles. Okay. Okay. So, as a first player, when I split this pile on my turn, how many piles do I make? Two. Two. So the number of piles increases, by one. increases by one. Right? How many piles do you see now? Three. So the number of piles increases by one again. Right. Four. Four. Five. So at every turn, what happens to the number of piles? Increased by one. Exactly. So in the beginning, how many piles are there? There are seven pebbles. There are seven pebbles in one pile. One pile. At the end of the game, how many piles are there? There are seven piles. There are seven piles. So we went from one pile to seven piles and the number of piles increased by one, one. in each step. So how many turns would it take to finish this game? Uh, Six? Exactly. Six. So there are a total of six turns, which means the last move is the sixth turn. So the player who makes the sixth turn, that's the player who wins. So who will that player be in this case? Um, let me think. So first player will have one, three and five. Alright. Second player will have two, four and six. So second player. Exactly. The second player. It's the second player who will get the sixth turn. And when we played around with seven pebbles, I just ensured that I was the second player and hence I won that round. And it didn't even matter how we were splitting the piles. Alright, got it now. Now here's a challenge for you. Let's say we started with two piles in the beginning instead of one, having 10 pebbles and 15 pebbles. The first player starts with splitting any of the two piles further. And similarly as before, both players continue to split piles turn by turn until there are no piles left to split. The player to make the last move wins. What will be your winning strategy in this case? 